everyone, welcome to my Onefinity CNC upgrade video. This is a new machine that I just got. Uh, I had originally planned on buying the Shapoko XXL, so I designed this table around that, but at last minute I decided to go with the Onefinity uh, since it had just come out. And it actually did fit, but uh, there's not enough room for the controller, so I put the controller uh, over on the side there. So this table is about 30 inches off the ground. It's got a drawer so I can put stuff inside there that keep it out of the way. Um, and uh, the uh, design originally came from Ben Meyer's uh, workshop on his YouTube channel. So I'll just link everything that I am talking about in the description below. Uh, starting off, uh, let's look at the mount for the monitor. So the monitor used to just kind of stick straight out of that end rail on the left. So I did not really care for that. I would rather see the mount from up above like this. So I designed and printed this uh, 3D mount um, right in here. So it comes along here and then it bolts. There's um, some metric bolts here. Bolt the mount right that came with this onto this um, support. And then I can just put a USB extension right there so I can just plug in a USB stick when I need to. The only thing you need to do is just print it and then use an M5 bolt and screw it right down onto that end rail. There's enough room there for the whole machine to home itself and uh, avoid any of the dust boot and all of that. So that worked out pretty good. So uh, I'll show you that from the other side here. That's kind of how it's bolted on. Printed it in black uh, ABS plastic. Uh, next is the drag chains. I saw this drag chain system on YouTube, really loved it. So um, I decided to uh, make my own. So I printed off the parts that are on Thingiverse from this gentleman. And uh, the parts are really good. Uh, they worked out great. They just plugged right into uh, my CNC. So uh, I'll just show you um, exactly what I'm talking about. So like, like down here, these are all 3D printed parts here. Um, same with... Up above, this is all 3D printed here. And um, the rails, they're all held on with 3D printed parts as well. So uh, just down in here, so all of this part right here. So there's aluminum brackets, there are, are rails that run along here and they're just bought at Home Depot. And the actual jet drag chain uh, is from Amazon. So um, I've got my, this is my Y right there and it comes up and it loops back to the X rail and the power cord for the Makita router. Uh, it's working out really well. Uh, there's just uh, something that you need to know about um, putting this system together. First of all, the Makita router's power cord obviously isn't gonna be long enough. So I bought a an extension cord that's about 16 feet and cut the end off of it, the, the outlet end and kept the plug end. And then the good thing about the Makita is if you open up the top there, there's just a terminal strip and you can unscrew the power cord. So I just put used the same boot here, um, ran it through there, plugged it in and ran it through the drag chain and it all comes out. All of the cables come out. They wrap down here and into my control box and then I've got a power bar right there. Um, so obviously the cables that come with the uh, Onefinity are not long enough. So I had to make my own cable. So I ordered uh, these Molex connectors. Um, I think they're called the Mini and the Micro and made my own uh, cabling. So there's four wires that run through this braided chain that I stuck them through. And then they just plug in and they run through this whole system. And uh, it's working out really well. So that's... Um, what I did for that and then along the front I did not like the way the Y2 cable just kind of flopped around the, along the top so I had this piece of um, metal channel uh, in my scrap bin so I when I extended the cable I just ran it through there and it comes all the way along there so everything's out of the way and I can actually bring wood even past that if I need to so that's uh, the setup for the drag chain so next uh, is the hose boom. The hose boom is working really well. Uh, it The dust collection actually goes all along here and it goes into a dust deputy, which is all everything gets sucked up into there through my vacuum. But the hose boom itself, um, Onefinity provided some 
3D printable mount. So there's that one. This one here, this is the same one and then an end piece and they're all held together with one inch aluminum pipe. And I found uh, a cost effective way to do the pipe is to just use shower curtain rod. So that's aluminum white shower curtain rod that fits perfectly in there, it's one inch. I found with the hose boom and the drag chains, there's just not enough room to mount this down below here. So I just cut a piece of MDF, painted a plaque screwed it on top of this end rail here with an M5 bolt and then screwed the mount right onto there and everything seems to be up and out of the way. All right, so uh, the hose boom comes along, the hose comes along here, goes into my socket dust boot, but I didn't like the way it was just kind of flopping over. This is a one and a half inch uh, hose. So I made a support for it. So along here, this is a piece of MDF. I just put a sticker on top of it. And then I 3D printed this um, little hose support. And you can actually unplug this hose. You can just pull it out and push it back in. And it holds it in a nice upright position. And so far, that's been working out really well. So that's my hose boom. Um, Moving on to controlling this thing. Yes, I can control it with the monitor, with my phone, um, but I really like the joystick um, way of controlling this whole thing. So I didn't buy the Onefinity joystick controller. I went and purchased a Logitech um, universal joystick and it works very, very well. So I can control my um, X and Y here, my Z here, and then these can control the speed that everything travels at, so you can get some pretty good control with that, and that's been working out uh, quite well. Uh, next is uh, Ben Meyer's spoil board. Every one of these holes has a uh, T-nut underneath it, so I just finished cutting that. It's a 32 by 32, and then I surfaced it while I leveled it all, and um, it is ready to go. So I thought I knew I know this is going to get marked marked up, but I thought I'd start off with a cool little logo. So I did a shield logo. I just used my Cricut, uh, put a sticker down, um, then spray painted over top of that, peeled it up, and it came out pretty well. I've never really used the CNC before. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to do some great wood projects with it. I'm also using it for my robotics and my droid building parts. So I'm going to cut styrene plastic with it. Uh, this is my very, very first cut. Um, it was exciting to see that work. I just cut out uh, with a, a 1 8 inch end mill, end mill, just did a little Mandalorian helmet to see how it would work. So, um, like I said, uh, in, in the description below, I'll link some, some information for you if you want. But uh, I'm excited to see this all working out. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.